my loves and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well and having an amazing day as always. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all my Lush skincare collection. I'm not gonna lie, I only have about seven things from my skincare collection to show you, but I still thought I would do a video on it anyway as it is part of my Lush collection. And if you guys didn't know, I'm doing all of my Lush collection videos currently on my channel right now. I'm doing like a Lush collection series as I got a lot of messages about it over on my Instagram when I asked what videos you guys would most like to see. And this was sort of the main one. Like I had a few different ones, for example, like a Lush Q&A, a few people said that, which I will get around to doing. But this one, like a Lush collection in segments was the most popular. So I've already done my shower jellies. I'm now moving on to my skincare. So I hope you guys enjoy. Grab yourselves a coffee or a drink or a snack and get comfy and let's get started. The first item in my skincare routine is a face scrub and that is the Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub because it is a body scrub as well but I've never actually, like I've used it on my body before, I haven't recently but I mainly just use it on my face in my skincare routine and it's so invigorating, it's really scrubby, it's got a lot of sea salt in it as well so it definitely makes you feel like you've got a clean fresh face. When I feel like, when I, when I use it I feel like I have completely like new skin, like a new like like new skin on my face if you know what I mean it just makes my skin feel so good and I think you can get about four versions of this I think you can get this one which is the original formula and there's three others I think I know there's one without vodka in it because this one does actually have lime fresh lime extracted in a vodka in it so yeah I know you can get ones about the vodka in it but this one is just perfect for my skin in my opinion it just works best for me but ingredients wise we have got fine sea salt fresh grapefruit infusion hand harvest sea salt, fresh lime extracted in vodka, avocado butter, extra virgin coconut oil, lime oil, seaweed absolute and violet leaf absolute. So there are lots of lovely beautiful ingredients in here and for me this is sort of a must have in my skincare collection. I always have a pot of this and this is a brand new pot. I got this about three or four days ago and I absolutely love it. It's one of my favourites and a 120 gram pot I think sets you back about £12. So it's not, it's not too bad. It's not, you know, overly expensive is not really cheap but a little pot like this will last me about three to four months if I use it regularly so yeah definitely one that I feel like I have to have in my skincare routine constantly especially in summer as it's got a beautiful summer scent as well and I'm going to show you the pot very quickly like what it looks like inside sea salt literally just went everywhere on my leggings so that's fun but yeah it looks beautiful so pretty and it's got that lovely sort of like blue shimmer in there as well with the sea salt it's just lovely and it smells incredible. So yeah, if you haven't tried Ocean Salt before, I really, really recommend it as it's sort of become like, like in, it's like, I can't speak, it's sort of come into like my daily skincare routine recently. And yeah, I just really love it and I've been really, really enjoying it. So that is the first item in my skincare. Next up, we have the only Lush moisturiser in my skincare collection that I own. And it is actually only a sample, but I thought I would include it anyway. And that is the gorgeous moisturiser. And these little sample pots, when you get them, like of anything from Lush, they last you so long. Like, especially with the gorgeous moisturiser, you only have to use a little bit and a little bit goes a long way. I find if you use too much, it makes your skin feel really greasy and sticky and oily, which is, you know, it's not a vibe, not for me so I only use a little bit and a little bit goes a very long way I've only got the tiniest amount left but I thought I would include it anyways it smells incredible it just smells really luxurious like the scent of it just makes it like smell so expensive if you know what I mean and it is very expensive for a full size pot it is 45 pounds which is incredible but I feel like I'm just I feel like I'm gonna have to treat myself to it and I've been saying that for a really long time now but I feel like I'm just gonna I'm gonna have to bite the bullet and get it because it's just so good. It makes my skin feel so soft and like supple, if you know what I mean. I've never really used that word, but it's like makes my skin feel so soft and supple and it's just beautiful. And I always use it after I've used Beauty Sleep Face Mask and the two as a combination, they work so well together. So yeah, if you haven't tried Gorgeous, go and get a sample first as it's so good. And I feel like I'm gonna treat myself to a large, well, a full size tub of it because I just absolutely love it. My last items are actually all face masks. And if you know me, you know that I absolutely love a good face mask. Um, face masks, again, like with Ocean Salt and Gorgeous, they have become sort of part of my daily skincare regime. I sort of use a face mask every other day, if you know what I mean. I just absolutely love it. And 
all of the skincare, like skincare, all of the face masks that I've got in my skincare collection are perfect for me and they work for when my skin is like doing different things. They work for different things for my skin, if you get what I mean. So I'm going to show you all of them and I absolutely love them. <laughs> First up, we have a fresh face mask and that is the Rosy Cheeks Fresh Face Mask. And this is a pretty recent one that I've got in my collection. Obviously, it's going to be recent because it's a fresh one. So you have to use it within about three to four weeks. I've got until the 30th of this month to use this. And I'm, I'm about, I'd say just over halfway through it, I think. But I'll just show you what it looks like inside. It's an absolutely beautiful light pink colour. And it just smells like a gorgeous, like sweet, fresh rose scent. It's definitely not rose jam, but it's definitely in the same sort of like rose scented family, if you know what I mean. But this is definitely my favourite face mask out of the fresh ones that you can get. On the front, it says Turkish rose oil and rose petal infusion soothe and balance faces that seek a softer touch while rose clay cleanses to leave you feeling as fresh as a bud. And I love this one because I have, if you didn't already know from how many other times I've mentioned it, I have really, really oily skin. It can be combination sometimes, but it's mainly oily and I absolutely hate it. If there was one thing I could change about me, I would change my skin because it's so oily. Like I can put makeup on in the morning and like the oil, it's gonna sound really disgusting, but the oil is already seeping through in about like mid afternoon. It's absolutely disgusting. So this is my favorite one to use when I'm having really bad oily skin days more so than every other day because it completely takes away all the oil and it makes my skin like so mattified if you know what I mean. So ingredients wise we have got, I can't really see them very much because the sticker's sort of over it but I can read what I can see. We've got glycerin, kaolin, fresh petal infusion, calamine powder, rose hip oil and that's all I can see but yeah it's a beautiful face mask, definitely my favourite from the fresh ones you can get and I need to use this soon because it's going to go out of date so yeah. That's rosy cheeks and I absolutely love it. Next up, we have Beauty Sleep and I actually have two of these because I love Beauty Sleep so much. It's becoming, again, like the other, like, well, like everything else I've said in this video, it's becoming my absolute favourite. I'm just going to show you the one I'm currently using. As you can see, I am slowly getting through it. I've got a tiny bit left now. But the scent of this is just beautiful. They put a spoonful of the gorgeous moisturiser in it. So it's super luxurious on your skin. It's definitely more of a treat face mask. More of one that you use sort of every now and again. I do personally. I don't use it every day. I tend to use it on the weekend. It's become like a Sunday night thing for me. So I'll be using it tonight. And I just, yeah, one of my favourites. Ingredients wise, as you can see, there are so many ingredients and it's in really, really small writing. So I'm only going to read out a little bit. But we have got lemon verbena and valerian root extracted in honey. We have got da, 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 kaolin, talc, grand, ta, kaolin talc, ground organic aduki beans, orange blossom honey water, extra virgin coconut oil, orange flower absolute, and neroli oil, Lavender oil, benzoin resin oil, tonka absolute, ylang ylang oil, organic jehovah oil, fresh coconut something, and that's all I can really see because the stickers on it. But yeah, it's got some really lovely, luxurious ingredients in it, and it just makes my skin feel amazing and really soft. So yeah, absolutely love Beauty Sleep. I need to finish this up. Well, I can't speak. I need to finish this one up super quickly because I have another one to use, and this one goes out of date in about a week and a half. So I'm going to get using that. But yeah. I think this is about £13 to buy. A bit more expensive than the other self-preserving face mask, but you've got a lot more luxurious ingredients in this, so obviously it's going to be more expensive. But yeah, Beauty Sleep is, again, one of my favourites and will always be in my skincare collection. Next up, we have got the Mask of Magnum Inti face mask, and I absolutely love this one. This is the first face mask I ever tried from Lush because back when I was a teenager, I had really oily skin and I had uh, like quite a little bit of acne and I just, I couldn't find any product that was doing my skin justice. And then the mask of Magda Minty was recommended to me and I never looked back. It's such an amazing product. If you have like really problematic skin or if like sometimes for me, I don't have problematic skin all the time, but if I have like a few little areas that need a little bit of help sometimes, it's mainly like around like my like t-zone area here and like my chin like i absolutely hate it but whenever i have a little area like that that has a few little spots in i always use this and i use it sort of for two to three days every morning or like every night 
and it just completely clears it up and I absolutely love it. I always get the self-preserving version because it does have more honey in it. I can use both versions if I'm being honest, but the one with honey in it just, make, just makes your skin feel nicer in my opinion, but I can use both. And ingredients wise, we have got honey, kaolin, bentone gel, talc, glycerin, ground organic aduki beans, evening primrose seeds, peppermint oil, taguette's oil, and vanilla absolute. And um, to me, this smells like mint chocolate chip ice cream, so I absolutely love it. And I'm just gonna show you what it looks like inside. And as you can see, it does look like a very wet face mask because I have got the self-preserving version. So it's going to look a little bit more wet compared to the non-self-preserving version. And it just smells really good. And I'm really tempted to use this one tonight, but I do need to use up my other beauty sleep. So I'm going to wait. But yeah, I love this one. I think to buy for a 125 gram pot, I think it's about £10. So it's not as expensive as the beauty sleep, but they do have a really, really good expiration date on it. You have about three to four months to use these ones. And a pot like this will last you so long, you can get so many uses out of it. So it's a win-win situation, if you know what I mean. So yeah, Mask of Magnum Inti, I love it. And it will always be one of my faves. But last but definitely not least, we have my last face mask. And that is the Cup of Coffee Face and Body Mask. And again, like with Mask of Magnum Inti, I used this a really, really long time ago for the first time. I think back when I was like 13 or 14, because I absolutely loved coffee even then from a young age. And when I heard Lush did a cup, like a cup of coffee face mask that smelled like coffee, I of course wanted to try it but cup of coffee is definitely the more it's the wetter face mask out of the three self-preserving ones because it's got so many like luxurious ingredients in it almost like beauty sleep but it's got a lot more wet ingredients in it so i'm just going to show you it as you can see because i can wobble it like that it's very very wet but you can kind of see without me tipping it too much it's obviously brown. It's got the, I can't speak, a dookie beans in it as well. So it's super invigorating, super scrubby on your face. And it's the one that I use, especially on like a Saturday morning. I just love waking myself up with this face mask as it's coffee. And it's the best thing to wake you up in the morning. Obviously, it's coffee for me anyway. And it just completely wakes you up. It's super invigorating and scrubby. And I absolutely love it. And it's definitely one of my favourites. And again, it's the same price as the Mask of Magda Minty. It's about £10 to buy for a 100 150 gram pot so you do get a little bit more in this one compared to the other two but yeah I absolutely love this one and I just I just love the self-preserving face masks they are my absolute favorite because they last such a long time and I can use each one when I have like a different skin day if you know what I mean they each combat different things which I really really like so yeah absolutely love this one and will always be in my collection so that was it for my skincare collection guys i really really hope you all enjoyed let me know down below what is in your skincare collection what you're using currently what your favorite lush skincare item is i would love to know and i love having a chat with you guys in the comments and it just really makes my day to be honest so comment down below let me know what you have been loving from lush skincare wise recently make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already as we are super super close to 650 subscribers I think last time I checked we were about 18 away so I really want to hit it so if you really enjoy my content and you like what you're watching then make sure to subscribe as it would mean the world to me and I would really really appreciate it. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you all in next week's video. Thanks for watching guys, bye!